You know, it is a disastrous situation facing hundreds of thousands of drivers each day. Wayne County bridges are falling apart, actually, and the state doesn't have the money to fix them. And tonight, 7 Action News reporter Simon Chiquette is in Lansing holding the state accountable for these dangerous bridges. It's no secret that Wayne County has the worst bridges in the entire state of Michigan. So we've come here to the capital to get some answers and find out just how soon the problem could get fixed. On Michigan's busiest highways, you can't help but notice something terribly wrong. Simon, I think they're falling apart. It is really bad. I mean, it makes, it, it makes us look bad. We took a ride around Wayne County to see for ourselves, and you don't have to look far before encountering bridges that are crumbling. Or in some cases, the problem is one you can see right through, like this hole that opened up along the Rouge River Bridge. Wayne County has the most bridges that are considered structurally deficient or uh, obsolete. Lance Beninemi with the Michigan Infrastructure and Transportation Association knows just how deep this issue is. He recently surveyed 11,000 state and local bridges, finding Wayne County has almost 550 bridges in bad shape. That's more than half. Wayne County is the heaviest traveled. Uh, throughout our entire state. Uh, so it's no question that they would see the most damage when we're under investing. Ultimately, the problem leads back to Lansing. Lawmakers have failed to come up with the money to keep our roads and bridges in good shape. Is it acceptable to have this many bridges in Wayne County crumbling, falling apart? No, it's not. I mean, we've got a lot of work to do. MDOT Director Kirk Steidel could have the hardest job of all. He's trying to fix aging infrastructure with less money to work with than any other state. Well, that's all stuff that we're trying to manage together, along with lights and everything else, to say how do we, how do we hold this all together. Steidel says Action News reports have helped highlight the problems in Wayne County and across southeast Michigan. You guys did a great job of covering stories of the, the holes in the bridge deck. But the next step is making sure Lansing delivers because drivers in Wayne County simply can't wait. With uh, what's going on in the world today, at least we could have good roads. The MDOT director tells Action News that within just a couple of months, there could be some real solutions coming out of the state capitol to get the funding necessary to repair roads and bridges. We'll stay on top of this story and make sure that that happens. From the state capitol, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.